वेलकम ऑल नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर 47 फ्रॉम द गेट 2017 सेट 1 इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग द क्वेश्चन इज ए 220 वोल्ट डीसी सीरीज मोटर रन्स ड्राइंग ए करंट ऑफ 30 एम्पियर्स फ्रॉम द सप्लाई आर्मेचर एंड फील्ड सर्किट रेजिस्टेंसेस आर 0.4 ओम्स एंड 0.1 ओम रेस्पेक्टिवली द लोड टॉर्क वेरीज एज द स्क्वायर ऑफ द स्पीड The flux in the motor may be taken as being proportional to the armature current. To reduce the speed of the motor by 50 percent, the resistance in ohms that should be added in series with the armature is. To know the concept of speed control of a DC motor, audience can go through the given NPTEL video link. Let us discuss. some useful data to solve the problem as we know that the torque produced in a dc motor is directly proportional to the flux into the armature current but for dc series motor the field current is same as the armature current so this flux is directly proportional to the ia so torque is directly proportional to the square of the armature current in a dc series motor for a dc motor the back emf produced by the dc motor is equal to phi zn by 60 into p by a for a particular design of a dc motor z p a and 60 are constants where z is the a uh, number of armature conductors p is the number of poles a is the number of parallel paths and phi is the flux per pole so all these are constants right so the speed is directly proportional to the back emf by the flux here we can write back emf as v minus ia into ra v is the supply voltage i is the armature current R A is the armature resistance minus the drop due to the field resistance. Since in a DC series motor, armature current and field current both are same, so we can write V minus I A into R A plus R S divided by phi. So using this all information, let us solve the problem. First given data. given it is 220 volts dc series motor dc series motor so dc series motor means we can represent like this motor will draw the current of 30 amps and the armature resistance is 0.4 ohms and the field resistance is 0.1 ohm also it is said that load torque is directly proportional to the load torque is directly proportional to the speed of the motor and the flux in the arm motor is directly proportional to the armature current so what is that the speed is reduced by 50 percent so if we say n1 is equal to n means n2 is equal to 0.5 n so we need to find out the r external resistance to be inserted in the armature circuit so as we have already discussed ems is equal to phi zn by 60 into p by a and we know that for a particular design 
z is constant p is also constant a is constant 60 anyway it is constant so e is equal to k into phi into n and for a series motor flux is directly proportional to the i a so e1 by e2 is equal to i a1 into n1 divided by i a2 into n2 so e is what back emf right that is terminal voltage minus armature current into field resistance plus armature resistance that is 0.4 plus 0.1 e2 terminal voltage of the motor is constant so 220 minus armature current we do not know into 0.4 plus 0.1 is equal to ia1 is 30 Divided by IA2, we need to find out N1 is N and N2 is 0.5 N. So we need to find out the external resistance to be inserted in the armature circuit. So and also we know that. torque is directly proportional to the n square load torque is directly proportional to the n square in the question it is given that torque is directly proportional to the n square armature current square because in a dc series motor load torque is directly proportional to the square of the current this thing we know and in the question it is given that load torque is directly proportional to the n square this is the key point to find out the armature current so n1 by n2 is equal to ia1 by ia2 n1 is n n2 is 0.5 n two is 0.5 n armature current in the first case is 30 divided by armature current implies ia2 is equal to 15 amps so now we found out the ia2 right we will substitute this ia in this expression so 220 minus 30 into 0.4 plus 0.1 divided by 220 minus ia2 is how much 15 amperes just now we found out 0.5 plus r external is equal to 30 divided by 15 into 0.5 if we simplify this expression we will get r external as 10.75 ohms so this much of external resistance needs to be added in the series armature circuit such that the speed will drop by 50 percentage so if the resistance adds means speed will decreases in a dc series motor so the resistance that should be added in series with the armature is 10.75 ohms thank you